Hey there guys, this is MathCamp321 presenting a video on a related rates problem, this one involving a baseball diamond. A baseball diamond has the shape of a square with sides 90 feet long. A player is running from first to second base at a speed of 28 feet per second. Find the rate at which the distance from home plate to the player is changing when the player is 30 feet from second base. Now oftentimes when you read a related rates question, you can be overwhelmed by the amount of information. So it's a good strategy to read the question a second or maybe even a third time. A baseball diamond has the shape of a square with sides 90 feet long. So because they tell us it's a square, we know a few things. We know that at each corner there's going to be a right angle. And we know that each side is going to be 90. Now, the player is running from first base to second base at a rate of 28 feet per second. So the player moves in this direction at 28 feet per second. So at some point, we're going to need to establish a variable for this length and then say that um, the rate is 28 feet per second. What we're trying to find, though, is the distance from the player to home plate. So when the, when the player first leaves first base, the trajectory from where he is to home plate might look like this. But as he continues to run towards second base, this red line gets longer and longer until it peaks out right there. And what I notice in doing this setup is that I have a series of right triangles. And in each one, the hypotenuse is getting longer and longer and longer, and that's precisely what I'm trying to find. The rate of change of that hypotenuse as the runner runs from first to second base. So because I'm working with the right triangle, I think I'm going to relate all my variables together using the Pythagorean theorem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the distance between home plate and first base x and I'm going to call the distance between first and second base y, and I'm going to call the hypotenuse z. And I know that the, the runner is running at a rate of 28 feet per second. So from this piece of information, we can write down dy dt is equal to 28 feet per second. Now the specific thing that we're supposed to find is dz dt at the moment that the uh, runner is 30 feet from second base. Now, this final sentence gives us a little bit of a problem. When the player is 30 feet from second base, well, the distance from first base to second base is 90. And uh, we're trying to figure out the precise moment when the runner is 30 feet from second base. So I'm denoting that with this brown color here. This is 30. If the runner is 30 feet from second base, what does that mean about the distance that, that the runner has already run? Well, the conclusion would be that the runner has run 60 feet at this point. So we're trying to find the rate of change of the hypotenuse, or the rate at which the distance from home plate to the runner is changing when the player is 30 feet from the base which means that he has gone 60 feet. So let's set up the Pythagorean theorem. Now, in the setup of the Pythagorean theorem, we have three variables, x, y, and z. Over time, x is never changing. x is fixed to be 90 feet. It is that leg of the triangle that's never changing. And if a, if a variable is fixed over time, we can plug in for it in the very beginning. Now y is changing over time, so I can't substitute in for that. And z is also changing over time, so I can't substitute in for that. So now I'm going to take the derivative of these three things with respect to t. Now the derivative of any constant is just 0. And the derivative of y squared with respect to t would be 2y dy dt. And the derivative of z squared with respect to t is 2z dz dt. Now my objective is to find dz dt. And because I'm trying to find dz dt, I want to isolate that. 
and that's going to equal y over z dy dt. Now, dy dt is given to us right here, so I can substitute in for that right now. And I'm going to say that this is 28 over 1. Y, we also know we're answering this question at the moment that Y is equal to 60, so I can plug that in. But I need to know what Z is. And for me to know what Z is, I'm going to need to use the Pythagorean theorem. And I'm going to draw a little mini picture up here at the top left where there's a little bit more space. I'm going to draw this little right triangle. This is the 90, which represents from home to first base. This leg is 60 the amount of space that the runner has already run, and now I want to find out what z is. So I'm going to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out what z is at this particular moment, when the runner has run 60 feet. So I'm going to say that 90 squared plus 60 squared is equal to z squared. 90 squared is 8,100. 60 squared is 3,600. And the sum of those two numbers is going to be 11700. And z will be the square root of that number. Now I'm trying to do this without the calculator, and I see that I can take out a 100. Uh, 11700 can be thought of as 100 times 117 which leaves me with 10 root 117. But 117 is really 9 times 13. So what this means is that in the end, z is equal to 30 root 13. Now the 30 and the 60 are going to cross out or reduce and leave me with the number 2. 2 times 28 is 56 and our denominator has that root 13. And then we need to include our units. And if we think back to the problem, it's this, it is this distance from the home plate to the player which is growing longer and longer. So that's going to be uh, feet per second. And what we just found to be very clear is dz dt. The rate at which the distance from the player to home base is changing as that player is running towards second base at a speed of 28 feet per second.